This 1955 photo, taken on a brush fire in the Verdugo Hills, shows the cooperation between agencies as engine 82's 1941 Mack tanker on the left is shown supplying water to an LA City mid-40s Seagrave bumper on the right. Photo taken on the Hostetter motorway south of La Crescenta. LA County Fire's first district's drill tower is shown here in 1955 immediately after the completion of its construction. This building was an integral part of the department's training center. It was placed just north of the department's headquarters building at 1320 Northeastern Avenue in East Los Angeles. The photographer probably wore some of this 600-gallon airdrop by a Grumman TBM torpedo bomber on the Bouquet Canyon fire in 1956. This vintage aircraft was leased and was one of several left over from World War II. They formed the backbone of early firefighting operations from the air. Taken in 1958, this photo depicts early attempts at telecasting from the scene of incidents. Our first public information officer, Bob Singleton, is relating the status of the giant Sam Goldwyn Studios fire to the TV audience for host Stan Chambers on the left. In these times, the interview was filmed and broadcast later on the evening news. This fire on Santa Monica Boulevard, six blocks east of Station 8 in West Hollywood, was fought by both L.A. County and Los Angeles City fire by mutual second alarm assignments. This amazing color photo was taken by department photographers on the second day of the four-day battle to control the largest oil refinery explosion and fire in the county's history, the Hancock Fire in Signal Hill in March of 1958. L.A. County Fire, Los Angeles City Fire, and Long Beach Fire provided massive mutual aid on this incident. Note the burned cars in the foreground, destroyed in the initial explosion the previous day. <laughs>